2020, we lost jobs, we lost income, and we lost family members. In this video, what I wanna do is provide you with five tips that you can use right now to make money utilizing your IT skills. That's all right. What's good, YouTube? If you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of that OSI model where we give you nothing but that application. You can apply directly to your life. I'm your host, Dewan. I've been in IT for over 20 years now. I've done everything from help desk to desk side support to system administration, network engineer. I worked for multiple Fortune 500 companies. I've been in the government sector. I've been in private sector doing my own thing. And then I also have military spares. You name it, I probably done it in IT. Now, when it comes to having your own business or even your own side hustle in IT, it is very possible. The more you learn, the more you improve your skills, the more you build your relationships and your brand, the more people will contact you for services. So in this video, what I wanna share with you is five IT side hustles that you can utilize right now. Number one, computer repair business. Now, when you think about your CompTIA A plus certification, you think about your Microsoft MTA, any of those certifications, to keep it simple, those certifications allow you to not only get entry level jobs in IT, but they certify you as being a computer professional. With that being said, as soon as you get your certification, you can now put that certification on business cards, on your website, on your LinkedIn, on your Facebook, wherever, and you can say that you're a certified IT professional and you can offer services to fix desktops, lab laptops, and also phones and tablets. Now offering these services is really easier than you might think. Many of you probably have got your certifications and been contacted by family members and friends to fix phones, to fix laptops, to fix their Wi-Fi, you name it, they probably contacted you because you're probably the only IT professional that they know. Now, what you could do is take your services and charge for it. How do you come up with your pricing? Well, do your own research. Contact Geek Squad, see how much they're charging. Look at Facebook ads, Craigslist ads for other computer repair businesses. Call lo local computer repair businesses, see what they're charging, and then price yours comparable or more, depending on how you feel about your, your business and your services. To piggyback off that, now that you have your network with your friends and family that you're offering these services to, you can also run your own Facebook ads, your own Craigslist ads, your own website, your own blog around the technology. And we'll talk about blogs later, but you can post a blog with your services as well. You can do Google ads on that blog. So now you're making money off not only your services, but also your blog itself. So that's another one, but we'll get to that later. So computer repair, there's a wide range of services that you can offer. And I kind of talked about desktops, laptops, um, phones, tablets, Wi-Fi install. All of those services are what you can offer under computer repair. Number two, build and maintain websites. I did an interview with Danny Thompson. Check it out. He is a software developer. For his first website, his very first website, he mentioned that he was at a Mexican restaurant and while he was there, he pulled up their menu on the on his phone and I guess the website for that restaurant didn't look good at all. And so he talked to the manager, he offered some tips on how he can improve and then Danny put out there that he could actually fix it for him. And so the manager said, okay, how much would you charge me? Danny just threw out a number. This was his very first website, $1,500. And the guy said, fine. Right then when Danny said that, I was like, wow, there's a lot of opportunity in the industry right now for all of you software developers. And even for those of you that are coding on the side or learning how to code, $1,500 for his first website. And I think he actually had like a $14,000 um, deal as well for a website. There's a lot of opportunity for building and maintaining websites. If you all take advantage of this, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear your comments. If you have built and maintained websites with pitfalls that you have faced, were you successful? Let me know in the comment section below. We all would love to have a great conversation around this. Number three, consult your IT skills. I mentioned a computer repair business at number one. 
I mentioned building and maintaining a website at number two. But number three, we're going to talk about consulting. For all of my military veterans, there's a lot of opportunity around being a veteran or being a minority or being a woman to be in business. You can leverage that to consult. I know myself, I had my own business where I consulted for a couple government contracts that were fairly lucrative for me and my family. Now, you can do the same thing. If you want to consult, let's say you have network engineering skills, there's contracts that you can bid on. Bids are the way you go out the government contracts. You, you check the scope, you do your own research, and then you come in um, for the bid or how much you will do those services for. You could win that bid, and you get points for being a minority-owned business, a veteran-owned business, a woman-owned business. There's all types of ways to accumulate these points to where your bid looks better than other people that are bidding for that contract in the government. Now, that's on the government side, and that's just a quick rundown. If you want to hear more about government contracts and how to get those bids, let me know in the comment section below. Now, there's other ways to offer your IT services. Let's say you're in an organization, it's a small organization, and they can't pay you enough, and you take another job. One thing that you could do is you could offer your services back to that company on a part-time basis. Building those relationships, that's why I talk about this so much, because building your relationships can pay dividends in multiple ways. So because you know this network, or because you know the website, or because you know their infrastructure, you can sell your services back to that organization at a cheaper rate, a part-time rate, or a consulting rate. That way they don't have to hire anybody else, and then they don't have to worry about training anyone else. This is a great way to make some side money from your services and your relationships. With that being said, another way with consulting your services, small businesses. Wi-Fi 6 is really coming on strong, and organizations are wanting to expand their Wi-Fi services in these small businesses in your area. You becoming that Wi-Fi professional, you can take advantage of this and help organizations upgrade their current small infrastructure. That's another way to consult your services. If you all want to hear more about that, let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, hit this video with a like and share it out to someone you think it may help. Number four, start an IT recruiting company. Now, you may say IT recruiting company. Yes, IT recruiting company. There's hundreds, if not thousands of them out there. And it costs little or nothing to get started in this realm. Let's say you're a network engineer, you lose your job. Or a system administrator, you, you lose your job. You know this industry. You've had a relationship with organizations. What you could do is start your own IT recruiting company around this area that you already know. Oh, you know what they need. So take that mindset, the things that you learn, start your own company, and then find people that have those skills and get the job. So now you spend 20, 30 hours a week working, getting these contracts, getting people in jobs, and you can either continue with this full-time or you can work your full-time business it's up to you how on how you operate this but starting an it recruiting company costs little or nothing and then with that being said again if you're woman owned minority owned so you can get all of those business certifications that you apply for apply them to your business and now you can work with these other businesses on b2b to say, hey, I'm a minority owned business, I have these services, and then if you have really good services, they may even give you the opportunity to bring people on board and to build your business. So why not? Take the risk. If this is something you're interested in, I say go for it. 2021 is all yours, so don't let nothing hold you back. Number five, start a YouTube channel, a blog podcast, or all three. This is a great way to generate revenue. This mic. This is a great way to not only generate some additional income on the side, but also to build your brand. When you think about being in IT, a lot of it is not about how much you know, it's more so about how much value you can add. And so if you have a YouTube channel around being a network engineer or being a software developer and you're putting out what you know, now organizations, when they go looking for somebody with your skill set and they happen to come upon your videos, they can see exactly what you know. 
And that'll help you get points before you even get in the interview. They know what to expect. So now if you've really done your research and done your work and done everything to lab every day, then when you get in that interview, it's just icing on the cake to say, hey, we want to hire this person. With that being said, starting a YouTube channel, a blog post or a podcast can generate some nice revenue. It's up to you how far you want to take it. But a simple blog post around some switch that you just configured and you learned about and then throwing your Amazon affiliate link in the blog post along with your YouTube video as well as your Google ads and all of that can really generate a couple hundred dollars off of one post. Now it may take time to generate that couple hundred dollars, but if you're doing two, three posts a week, by the end of the month, you have a thousand, two, three, four, five thousand, depending on how often and how much work you wanna put into your blog. I've seen people make a lot of money on YouTube and you can be one of those people. It's up to you to put in the work and take this how far you want it. Now these were my five IT side hustles that you can use to make some really good money on the side in 2021. If you all have some suggestions or some tips, I would love to hear them in the comment section below. And if you got a YouTube channel or a blog post, at me. I would love to retweet, check you out, maybe even do an interview with you. 2021 is all about seeing you win. I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. If you have not already, do so. Like, share this video out, and I will catch you out on the next one. And I will check you out on the next one. Peace.